The OBS Virtual Cam means you can show anything from your OBS or Streamlabs on your TikTok Live Studio stream. You probably have your Twitch or YouTube stream set up with OBS. With just a few clicks, we can show the TikTok viewers exactly what the Twitch or YouTube viewers are seeing. You can also use the virtual cam to show your TikTok viewers features that Live Studio is either missing or is just not very good at. So a basic example here would be scrolling images. More examples include using your camera twice, scene transitions, green screen filters, capture cards, and basically anything visual you can do with OBS. So to begin with, make sure you open OBS before you open Live Studio. This is so that OBS can access your camera. And we're gonna begin by checking some settings. So click on settings in the bottom right corner. And once your settings are open, head to the video section. You wanna check that both of these are on 1920 by 1080 and your FPX is on the max possible, which is usually 60. Just click okay to save the settings. Now, before we start the virtual cam, Let's check the settings on it. So just click the little settings cog in the bottom right next to the virtual cam button. And you want your settings to look like this. Output type internal, output selection, program output default. So now just press OK and then click start virtual camera. Now it's time to open up live studio. And once you've got it open, you want to go on the left and add a new source. And the source is a camera source. Now you just find the correct camera from the list. I've got a lot of cameras here, but the one I want is the OBS virtual camera. We now need to change a few settings. The FPS is on 30 by default, but we want it on 60. So you can select either of these 60 FPS options and then press add source. Now it's usually a bit bugged like this. It should be 1920 by 1080, but it's not quite yet. So just click on it and then we click this button here, which stretches it to the screen. So now it is 1920 by 1080. So it's that simple. Live Studio and OBS should be looking identical, but let's put them side by side to make sure that they are identical. So they're now side by side. And as you can see, it's identical on both. Just a quick reminder at this stage, this is visual only. So you will need to add your audio, including your microphone and your output, like your game audio into Live Studio. If you need any personal help setting up OBS or Live Studio, or if you want to chat with me one on one about TikTok live streaming strategy, then check out my Fiverr page, which is linked in the description. Now let's look at some of the most common uses for the OBS virtual cam with Live Studio. And we'll start with what I mentioned at the very beginning, which is mirroring your Twitch or YouTube stream straight to TikTok Live. Now, as you can see for me here on OBS, I have a whole load of sources and a whole load of scenes, and I really don't want to set these up again for my TikTok live stream. So it really is as simple as just starting the virtual cam on OBS and adding it as a camera on Live Studio. And then within Live Studio, just make sure you also add your microphone and your computer audio. If you've done that, then your Twitch or YouTube stream and your TikTok streams should look identical. As I'm sure you know, you can only use your camera with one application. So if I've only got one camera, that's a bit of a problem if I'm using both OBS and Live Studio. So what we can do is use the virtual cam, add it to Live Studio and then crop it so it's only showing the camera area. This is especially useful if you're streaming in vertical mode on TikTok. So again, let's do that quickly again. Let me add the virtual cam again inside Live Studio. This time I'm in the portrait scenes. I once again increase the FPS to 60. Now all I have to do is crop it. So I'm just going to hold the Alt button, drag the white squares to crop it. I also want to make it bigger, obviously. So I'm going to keep dragging it around until I've got just the part with me and I'll keep the frame in as well. Now Live Studio is making it harder for us, unfortunately, by not keeping the aspect ratio, but play around with the aspect ratio until you've got it looking good, something like that. I've played around with it a bit. I think that looks okay now. If we put them side by side, you can see now my camera looks identical on OBS and on Live Studio. OBS has way more filters than Live Studio does. For example, Live Studio has no filter to scroll an image. So if you wanted to do that, you'd have to inside OBS, add an image source, find where your image file is saved, select the image file and press OK, and then right click the sources, select filters, and find the scroll filter. Once you've pressed OK, you just add whatever horizontal or vertical speed you want, press close, and now you have a scrolling image in OBS 
and more importantly, a scrolling image in Live Studio. It does actually probably need some cropping. So to get rid of the black area, I'm just gonna hold Alt and drag. Obviously I've only got one source, so I still have a black area. But if I had my display capture behind this, you would now be seeing part of the display and obviously I can resize it as well. This is the graphic which I have on my TikTok live stream. Many people report issues with capture cards in Live Studio. So you can fix this on OBS by adding your capture card as a video capture device. Now I don't actually have a capture card so I can't show you, but let's imagine my camera is the capture card. As long as the virtual camera is enabled and it's added to Live Studio, you've now fixed the capture card issue. It is worth noting though that this won't fix any issues with audio and capture cards. Unfortunately, I'm not an expert on that but hopefully you can find a way to get the capture card audio into Live Studio. And those are just some of the most common uses you can use with OBS Virtual Cam and Live Studio. But as with most things with content creation, your imagination is the limit. You can check out my latest tips on setting up Live Studio here. Subscribe if you found this useful. Thanks to the channel members for their support and thanks for watching.